The toroidal propeller, named for its blades resembling a torus or donut shape, is more impressive than it first appears. These distinct blades, drawing inspiration from donuts, have exhibited over a fourfold increase in propeller efficiency for boats, resulting in notable improvements in both speed and fuel economy. Furthermore, these propellers possess the capability of significantly reducing noise from boats and drones. A small multi-rotor unmanned aircraft equipped with a toroidal propeller can operate with a lower decimal level than present-day drone models that still use propeller designs dating back to the inception of flight. This innovation may accelerate the adoption of such aircraft in various applications, such as aerial deliveries, cinematography, industrial and infrastructure inspections, and agricultural monitoring, by allowing a drone that generates less sonic disturbance. In mathematics, a toroid is a revolution surface with a hole in the center. The axis of revolution is traversed by the hole and thus does not intersect the surface. A hollow rectangle section ring, for example, is produced when a rectangle is rotated around an axis parallel to one of its edges. If the revolved figure is a circle, the object is referred to as a torus. A toroidal polyhedron is also referred to as a toroid. A toroid in this context does not have to be circular and can have any number of holes. A G-hold toroid can be thought of as approximating the surface of a torus with a topological genus, G of one or more. A G-hold toroid's Euler characteristic is 2 into 1 minus G. The torus is an example of a toroid, which is the surface of a donut. Donuts are a type of solid torus formed by rotating a disc that should not be confused with toroids. Square toroid. The volume, V, and surface area, S, of a toroid are given by the following equations, where A is the area of the square section of side, and R is the radius of revolution. Circular toroid. The volume, V, and surface area, S, of a toroid are given by the following equations, where small r is the radius of the circular section, and r is the radius of the overall shape. Despite the fact that a toroidal prop and a standard prop are physically different, today we'll look at how the toroidal propeller enables a small multi-rotor unmanned aircraft or drone to operate more quietly than current drones that use propeller forms that haven't changed since the dawn of aviation, as well as the ability to significantly reduce boat and drone noise as well as a few application examples. Hello and thank you for coming. Welcome back if you previously subscribed. If not, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification icon to stay up to speed with sustainable science, technology, engineering, home automation, and recent developments as the world transitions to renewable energy. Propellers are intricate mechanical components that are composed of multiple blades that rotate at high speeds, enabling aircraft and watercraft to travel long distances. These propellers are designed to move a fluid, usually air or water, by means of rotational motion, and they are in many ways derived from the Archimedes screw, a device that was likely employed in ancient Egypt millennia before it was documented by Archimedes in 234 BC. However, propeller design has remained largely unchanged for a significant period of time, with propeller-driven aircraft still utilizing twisted aerofoil-bladed propellers that resemble those found on bamboo copters. Despite modest efficiency gains over wooden props developed by the Wright brothers in wind experiments in 1903, which were already in use in China 2,400 years ago, boats continue to employ screw-style propellers, some of which date back to the 1700s. While these engines have been continually improved over many years, propeller technology has remained relatively stagnant over the last century. Nonetheless, the recent introduction of toroidal propellers may have a significant impact on the marine and aviation industries, particularly on the performance of drones and boats. Let's briefly compare toroidal propellers to standard propellers. Propellers have been crucial in the development of transportation devices, particularly aircraft and watercraft. They are critical components that allow these vehicles to move through air or water by generating thrust through rotational motion. Propellers are used in aviation to generate the forward motion required to achieve lift and sustain flight on propeller-driven aircraft. They are also used in helicopters to lift the aircraft into the air and maintain its altitude. In the marine industry, propellers are used on boats and ships to provide thrust that propels the vessel through the water. This has enabled the development of larger, faster, and more efficient ships capable of transporting people and goods over long distances. Advances in propeller technology have improved the efficiency, speed, 
and range of these transportation devices in both industries, making air and sea travel faster and more accessible to people all over the world. In comparing the toroidal prop and standard prop, one significant difference is that the toroidal prop is able to spin more fluid into its vicinity and draw a die from a greater distance into the blade, resulting in increased efficiency and push. Another difference is that toroidal propellers are much quieter than standard propellers in both air and water and exhibit tremendous efficiency improvements. This is due to the fact that toroidal propellers produce less tip vortices, which can be disruptive, inefficient, and noisy. The vortices that would form at the tips are instead dispersed over the entire blade. The toroidal propellers were developed by the MIT Lincoln Laboratory and the US-based company Shero Marine with the MIT team focusing on ultra-quiet drones and the share of team focusing on marine applications. The two propellers differ slightly in their modeling processes with the share blades, having a more aggressive pitch and smaller, less obvious holes, increasing their suitability for use in air or water. Overall, the toroidal propellers offer significant advancements in efficiency and noise reduction compared to traditional propellers, making it a promising development in the aviation and maritime industries. The noise that ordinary propellers make is one of their biggest flaws. Turbulence and vortices are produced as the blades revolve through the air or water, which can disturb both people and aquatic life. Another disadvantage is that the blade tip's tendency to produce vortices can lower efficiency and increase drag, which can harm an aircraft's or a boat's overall performance. Finally, because the design has been mostly unchanged for a long time and has hit a plateau in terms of future advancements, Typical propellers may also be constrained in terms of their maximum speed and efficiency. Listen to a boat with a standard and a toroidal propeller to see how much noise is reduced between the two. That roar isn't the motor, it's actually the tip vortices. So whenever we engage a customer, they, after they are done asking questions about how it was invented, they want to know more about why it does what it does and what, what is really different between a standard prop and ours. Um, we talked about the tip vortices and tip vortices cavitation. Another attribute of our prop is it just doesn't slip like a standard prop. Because it has, it holds that water in, it doesn't let go of the water very easily. The water ends up being kicked out the back and not slipping off the tips the way a standard prop would. So we move a boat forward further with every rotation than a standard prop does with equivalent pitch. These statistics provide clear evidence of the substantial disparity in noise production between conventional and toroidal propellers, even in the case of drones. The Shero models have the added benefit of reducing noise and energy loss by minimizing or removing tip cavitation and vortices while cruising through open waters. They also provide other benefits, such as a 50% increase in reverse thrust, a 30% increase in range, less vibration, and twice the speed at mid-range RPNs. The enclosed, twisted design of the MIT invention is ideal for multi-rotor drones, which are well known for their irritating buzz, allowing them to fly almost silently. Dr. Thomas Sebastian, a senior member of the Structural and Thermal Fluids Engineering Group at MIT's Lincoln Laboratory, designed the noise-canceling toroidal prototype after evaluating a noiseless aircraft driven by ionic wind. When compared to a standard propeller, the toroidal propeller is 200% more efficient for a 4000 Brom motor and has the added benefit of approaching maximum efficiency much more quickly. These advantages can lead to significant reductions in fuel consumption, sailing time, emissions, and noise pollution, which can disrupt communication and navigation for marine life. Similarly, more efficient air travel may lessen disruptions to neighboring people and animals. However, constructing the toroidal prop is complex and currently requires CNCC machines for 3D printing, making it more expensive to produce, costing $5,000 compared to $500 for a standard prop. Despite the initial cost, the enhanced efficiency of the Shero prop could lead to cost savings over time, particularly as boats become more popular and mass production leads to economies of scale. 
it is possible that toroidal props could be scaled up for larger ships or aircrafts in the future, which could have a significant impact on maritime and air transport. Additionally, there may be many more applications for this technology that have yet to be discovered. From your own point of view, can this new technology have the effect on boats and planes? Could it be useful for other things that we don't know about yet? We appreciate your feedback in the comments and welcome any questions or suggestions for future topics. Please kindly show your support by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn on notifications for new video alerts. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.